Hello everyone and welcome to AMC. Today I have a very random but very fun presentation that I would like to share with you guys. Before we start the show, Bennett like Beckham, I would only like to take around seven minutes of your guys' time. Beginning the presentation, we will be talking about the history of women's soccer and how they are able to play today. Afterwards, we will be talking about the differences in rules between women's and men's soccer. Afterwards, we will now be talking about basic information about soccer. Now that the first half has started, we will be talking about the history of women's soccer and how they were able to play today. According to Editorial Team 2022, the first soccer team was introduced in 1863. But unfortunately, women were not able to play until years later. The first women's soccer team was brought together in 1895, where it was a team of 11 players that was from Scotland. From the first women's soccer game in 1895 until today, in 2022, there have been a lot of changes, including we now have many more leagues. Women's soccer is now available in all 50 states and each team has the chance of going to state and evenly possibly winning. Not only do we play in the US, we have a USA women's national team that travels the world to play other countries. We also have the chance of going to the Olympics every four years to play other teams while we can win gold medals. Now that the first half has ending, we will now move on to halftime. We will be focusing on the differences in rules between women's and men's soccer. According to RookieRoad.com, there is not many differences in the way that the rules are made, but there are a lot of differences in the way that the game is played between the two. Women are less sensitive than men, and the players will get knocked down and they will get right back up. While men, on the other hand, tend to fake an injury to pass time or they can just get right back up. Now, women are proven to be less angry and less pushier than men. Men will just push others if they get pushed or they will just cause a foul. While women, on the other hand, just take the call and they move on. They do not push the other players. Now that the halftime is ending, we will now move on to the second half, we'll be focusing on some basic information of soccer. Now that it is the second half, we will be now focusing on the basic information. According to English.com 2022, the field will look like 100 to 150 yard length and 50 to 100 yard width field. Grass or turf can be used. Now that we know what the field looks like, we will now need to know what the size looks like. The sides include eight sides. These eight sides include the center line, the halfway line, the goal line, the touch line, the penalty line, the penalty arc, and finally, the corner arc. Now, the main goal is to obviously score more more goals than the other team, but it is not as easy as it sounds. You can only use your head, feet, and your chest to control the ball. No matter what, you can never use your hands unless you are the goalie. You can pass the ball between the players and you can even pass back to the goalie, but the goalie cannot pick up the ball with their hands since the team passed it to you. Now. The game lasts around 95 minutes. This includes two 45 minute halves and a 15 minute half in between each half. Now, if I was going into more depth, then I would be here more than five minutes, but I think we both do not want that. So to recap, we first talked about the history of women's soccer and how women are able to play today. We then talked about the differences in rules between men and women's soccer. And finally, we talked about some basic information of soccer. Now, I hope you enjoyed the show.